Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zeph's Trading. Hope you guys are doing well today. September 11th, 2024. This will be our chart lesson for today. Crazy recovery. Probably the second best day I've ever seen for trades for the PAT system. Awesome day. A lot of trades here. Um, hope you guys caught it. Hope you guys were here. Basically, Fed rate cuts. Market's positive. Um, broke out of the hoagie. For the daily chart and higher low formed if we go tomorrow above today's candle so nonetheless let's get into these trades here take a look and in the beginning of the session here um you know thought it was going to be a trading range we can see the swing lows um the swing highs here but not to be fooled but we broke out of it we did have a strong support across the board here um but pre-market session you have a nice leg up break new high Market opens and the sell-off begins. First trade comes right out of the gate here with a really nice bear flag. This one's super tempting. Um, it's just not part of the PAT system. So if you saw that, maybe you take that. But you do get a first entry, second entry long, and then it fails. Go with that right below it. You're going to the swing low. It's a little far away from the EMA, but just trail the stop loss. Um, this, you should be getting a second leg down. That's what you're anticipating. And if not, you're wrong, and that's fine. Just take the loss. Anyways, failed second entry long right there. Moves down, goes across here, and you have one, two, and three with a move up, sell off, double top is how I saw this one. There's a lot of discretionary double tops and um, good signal bars you can sell into. I'm not going to mark every single one, but there's quite a few here, and maybe you take that um, if you know what you're doing. Nonetheless, though, uh, following the pad system as we're being patient and waiting, I saw this as a move down, first leg up, second leg, and failure again same kind of pattern right here with that repeat first entry second entry long failure and sorry that should be an aggressive trade because it's a failure so move up one two failure counting on it selling off as it is below the ema when you have a strong trend like this you're doing nothing but going with the trend if not you'll just get burned um okay so moving along here after the 30 minutes open it gets a little congested across the board then sells off pulls back sell off again and I basically saw this as a really nice first entry pulls back second entry short it you do get your scalp here takes a second um, but there's enough room to the downside goes sideways for a second and then the sell-off continues again you can also look at this as a lower high um, trapping all of those bull traders right below their stop is right here um, and again yeah first entry pull back second entry short just following this trend line of down here we get a couple legs um, down, moves up, pulls back, first entry, second entry long, it fails again. Um, not a good signal bar here, and don't really like how overstacking the wicks are. Not very clear of a failure, so skip that one. Um, as we come down here, I saw this as a double bottom, move up, first entry, and um, first entry pulls back, second entry short, great signal bar, textbook second entry short. Also, one, two, and three wedge, Albrook's wedge right there. Um, just easy trade take that doesn't get any easier than that plenty of room to the swing low i would have definitely looked for four or five points here the, the risk to reward ratio is clear as day you're at the top of the trend trail and you're going short that's what you want to see uh, about eight o'clock hits and we reverse so we could turn into this huge trading range here i don't think you should be going longs here even if there is that one two and three triple test and it works out just with a day like this now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting till i for sure know that we're going uh higher and you do get it. You get a nice higher low right here. Confirmation with a nice signal bar moves up again. You get a first entry, second entry long. It's just not the best signal bar, so it's marked aggressive here. But the biggest change that you have here is when you have a move down with a pivot swing low and it crosses above it like this. As you can see in the downtrend, never broke the swing high, never broke the swing high, and boom, this broke this swing high. There is a change in direction there, and you got to be ready for it. Also, final flag formation, multiple bars of support here. First entry, second entry long. So maybe you take that. If not, uh, you just wait. You get nice two-legged move up, pull back, and then as we were below the EMA, now we're above it and we're respecting it and holding it. This huge move up here um, is the recovery. Rips right through previous days low like nothing. Goes up, first entry, second entry long, failure. Um, you already have your two-legged move up here, and I'm pretty sure this is measured here 
yeah, just went above it just a little bit. So you already have your two big measured move here. You're way away from the EMA. Um, pulls back, first entry, second entry long, failure. This is not going to be a valid second entry. Don't get confused with it. This is an inside bar. Patience underneath it sells off. This is an exaggerated sell off for sure. You can see how fast this recovery happens. I think it should have only um, really wanted to sell off here, but again, overshoots and then boom, all the buyers come in. So if you know what you're doing, you can take those. If not, wait for a second entry long that's a lot better and here it comes, huge move up. First entry, pulls back, second entry long, failure again. This is a very specific setup right here. Let me zoom in. You have a slight trading range on a lower time frame with the first break of this trend line at the top of the trend channel. Here's your swing high right here. So you have a 2B pattern with context one, and then you have a first entry, pulls back, second entry long, fails. The second you see this failure, you just go short there, you realize the bulls are there, it's gonna pull back to the EMA, and that's what you're looking for. After that happens, you get the most clear first entry, pulls back, second entry long, inside bar. I think this one's still valid, and the reason being of because of the risk to reward ratio is just amazing. Um, I mean, literally could have risked the two points here and go, gone for four or five, six, however many you want. Great inside bar, good signal bar, clear ABC, looking for the break in new high still of this upward trend channel as well. Pull back to the EMA, awesome. If you want confirmation, you do get it with another higher low, great signal bar again, add on to your position, look for the move higher, you get it. Boom, again, one, two, three, triple test, higher lows, just awesome take those trades every single time makes its way higher here and you realize that this is a big bullish trend take every single move that you can good signal bars wait for the context be ready you have a move up pull back first entry pull back it is a second entry long but it's a bad signal bar because it's an inside bar we don't want to take inside bars unless they're very specific then you get this one two three triple test here and that's the confirmation for the move higher here Go with this one up and you get your two points, 10 ticks, however many you want to go for with it crossing above it, pulling back down. And then you get another first entry, pulls back, second entry long. Um, you could maybe call this a double bottom, quadruple test, however you want to see it. Too big of a bar. If you can get in with a limit order, I don't have a problem with this second entry, but I just, unfortunately, the bar is too big. And then as we start making our way higher here, you have a swing low, moves all the way up. Pull back, first entry, pull back, second entry short at the top of the key entry point. It's marked as aggressive because it's in the upward um, bullish trend channel. So be cautious of that. But if you know what you're doing, um, you can take this with a limit order. Make sure your trailer stop. Just be very careful with the second entry short here. Um, that's the only reason you're at the top of the trend channel. You're close to the previous day's low. And at least a pullback to the EMA seems reasonable with your move up, break a new high. So that's not the worst trade. Um, I think just being patient for second entries is probably a smarter move. And then again, you get it. First entry, <clears throat> second entry long right here. And then again, higher low, easy trade again. This is another uh, context trade right here. Very quick scalps if you're looking for them. The market was moving fast here, so you could only be getting your two points, but it's all you really need when you're risking um, one to one R. Again, moves up, double top, 2B pattern. Um, and then I saw this as also first entry pulls back, second entry short. I think that's good for a quick scalp at least. This is going higher. You just have to be careful with it. And also uh, the data reloaded. So this signal bar was a lot better. This was not a doji. This was closing on its uh, low with a red bar, one third. As the market makes its way higher here, um, I thought this was an overextension a little bit. And I think we pulled back first entry, second entry long, bad signal bar. Moves higher, pulls back, and then another one right here. First entry, pulls back, second entry long. Take another one, runs higher. And as we go and we keep going through it, you can see just the moves up, break, new high. Comes down again, first entry, pulls back. Um, I don't really like the signal bar here, not the double matching one with the doji, or not doji, but the wick right here. I think even though this does work, I think you just got to be more patient, especially with the overshoot of the trend channel. Anyways, as we uh, finally get down a little bit for a reset for multiple legs down, I kind of see this as one, two, and 
three, you do get a higher low here. And then first entry, second entry short into a failure runs higher. And you had plenty of room to the swing high there. And then for the remaining of the day, don't see any other trades. Um, go sideways for a bit, pulls back to the trend channel. Basically the entire um, upper bullish trend channel, this green channel here. Um, that's what you're playing off of. That's what you're looking for. Back to the key entry points, looking for good second entries, triple tests, and hopefully capitalize on a day like this. Anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure the remaining of this week, we're probably going to at least test a couple of the swing highs on the daily chart. I don't think we're going to go lower, um, but we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this chart review, and as always, see you guys next time.